here's a ride into town that I take. Over here on the left, you can see that pond. That's a bunch of birches across the pond. When it gets a nice bright, it reflects on there. So beautiful. And we're in, when, we're in fall now. You can see we're getting a lot of leaves changing colors. A lot more color. Still not peak, which is surprising. Usually we're a lot further towards peak. But it stayed pretty, pretty warm for a long time here. starting to clear but it's getting cloudy again. You can see there we got some nice color in those trees right there. And that's what it is now. It's patches right now of brilliance and color that looks pretty amazing. But it's not a full-on color and like I said, we're not getting a lot of the brilliant colors that we've gotten in years past just because it's been so dry this year. Had some rain today, but that hasn't been the norm for us this year at all. This is on 16. Hey, look, there's my mechanic. Woohoo! Yes, there we have all our political signs. They're all over the place this time of year. Cranmore Ski Area, where you see the, if you could see the ski trails cut out. This is where the railroad yards used to be. That's the middle school now. It used to be the middle and high school, but we built the brand new high school. So now it's only the middle school. This is where they have the Christmas tree lit every year at the holidays. There you can see the 
right so again there's color not a whole lot of it and I, I think it's just going to be a little at a time we're not going to get that one really blooming period of color because you can see there's also there's trees that are losing their leaves already too if you think this is traffic this is nothing if uh, it was a holiday Friday on a weekend in the summer or a holiday week during the winter um, traffic we backed up to where I showed you Henry work way beyond that back to sometimes back over towards where I turned on me here so this is nothing this is our usual local traffic you can see more color in the trees there it's just this time of day that it does this this is the area they want to put a bypass in and they've been talking about that for 20 years now because they were talking about that when I was looking for land to buy up here there's the one land we were gonna buy we couldn't because they were gonna take a lot of it for the bypass that still does not exist but you know on the other hand the bypass a lot of times kills business in the small downtowns like this hear a siren but I'm not sure where it's coming from sounds like an ambulance downtown Conway we're just about out of it and that built up pretty much around the railroad yards that was town back when you know before there were cars before everyone had a car and you could drive anywhere you wanted to go you had to wait for the railroad deliveries and the stores stayed near there and that's what they did. And here we go turning north. That's our town library. See it's pretty cool looking. They're doing some restoration on the tower. Been there a long time. group up here and here we're crossing over the Saco River over there is a great swimming area and you can see the bridge covered bridge
see there's a little little color through the trees here. We'll probably definitely, I would say we'll be at peak next week, but I don't think it's going to be the brilliant colors. I can just see even like the oranges in this tree that's a little bit on the left here. It's not near as brilliant as it usually is. They're kind of dull. Again, it's been dry. We had a dry winter, dry spring, and a dry summer. Uh, we're coming up on one of my favorite views when we get over this hill. Going down into town. down this view and I say this is this is why I moved here. You know, this is what did it for me. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Um, next week I'll probably give you a little tour of the Freiburg Fair.